it's time for the real war to begin. So last time the Americans started to land in Spain and they took out quite a bit of the uh, you know the Spanish uh, area. There's a couple neutrals here left that'll fall very quickly and then Barcelona will be over here and then we'll just basically start pushing on to France with the Americans or we'll just start holding back and defending. Either or. Um, over here on this side the uh, colonial French took out um, the northern parts of Turkey and we have the producing structures there. We also have Iraq. Um, I'll be able to start you know, purchasing units for over here which is going to be really necessary for all the encroaching units that are coming from the Italian side over there. And um, I'm a bit worried about all the Axis attacking the uh, Russians over here. The Russians have quite a bit of troops and power, but that's a lot of uh, Axis to worry about. Okay, I also have um, this industry to purchase, which I'm going to put in Portugal next time. I could put on Stella or Portugal, but we'll maybe hold off on that. We can still ferry stuff across for now, and that's what we'll do. So we're going to say done. And yes. Now, here's the promise. I'm going to basically sort of phase out what's happening, so to speak, with um, the purchasing unit um, type of thing. I'll try and show off what the uh, Germans are doing and all the AIs are doing while uh, they're doing stuff. So but we'll basically phase out the purchasing units when it, you know, it's taking a long time. And for some reason, I was very quick. All right, well, it looks like uh, I'm getting attacked with uh, a whole lot of German fi uh, fighters there. A lot, a lot of fighters. He's going to hit me with, you know, enough force to kill all my guys all at once, apparently. I was a bit worried that uh, the Germans might, you know, or the uh, Americans, or they just have a lot of guys. I uh, a bit worried about all those uh, fighters then, but whatever. I'm just going to get really close to Barcelona and hopefully kill them soon. So that's a lot of defense to go through with uh, the Americans, actually. I might phase out the moving, like, non-moving phase. Because you know they're moving them around as well. But anyways, here's like the big one where it seems it takes forever for the, the you know, person unit. So we'll just uh, pause as soon as they uh, start getting to the person unit phase. And after a long pause, after that long pause, the Russians came in and started designating the uh, Axis forces that are on their borders there. It's a very long pause, and you already know that from the video showing all those long pauses from before. But yes, they moved their guys to the borders, and we continue on. Then we've got the uh, Italians over here. He's going to take that one little place there. Try and take in a bit more Russian territory of his troops. He's moving some guys down to try and defend his territory, as you can see. That'll be a bit of a concern, because he's got a lot of troops to uh, defend himself with. And, and assault me as well, so... Got to watch out for that a little bit. And he's building more as well, why not? It is Barcelona. So yes, I've taken out a lot of Spain, but I need to ferry guys quickly to get them over here to start, you know, doing stuff. Alright, the Colonial French. So last time, if you recall, I, you know, had this guy here. Uh, the Americans drop into the uh, transport there. Um, I can't use those guys, I guess, to uh, attack. But, whatever, um, I can, I guess, attack Southern Nevada if I want to with the, uh, these guys here. That might be preferable to being attacked by those fighters, so, maybe we'll do that. I'm going to send you there, and we'll send these three guys in here. Also got that American cruiser that I can use, but I probably don't want to drop them in there. I'm doing it sort of once to try and show it off, just for the sake of showing it off, but... Alright, well there we go. I, I can send that many troops over to sort of attack Nevada.
And if I want to, I could try and move this guy somewhere where the Americans could, you know, make use of it to attack someone. I might, you know, attack Sudarna over here. He'll lose my transport, but the Americans will be able to take um, another point in the uh, field over here. And we'll continue on from there, I guess. A bit concerned with all these uh, troops. I may have to reinforce this with what I can. I may not attack either of these places just yet, just because the Italians have so many forces here. I'll just send um, what I can over here to defend. That might be a preferable plan to losing troops. Um, we're going to send everyone but two infantry over to Alger. We'll send all these guys to Morocco, I guess. And then over here is where we're going to continue on, I guess. Um, so, well, there's lots of Italians over there. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of uh, forces except for these like, Romanians up here to have to worry about, but I don't want to get these guys too close to Axis territory and have them get shot down. So, I guess the plan will just be I'm going to send... this guy to Iran, these guys to... Syria. You guys will jump back over to here. And that's probably going to be my movement for all my units, more or less, at this time. So done. Uh, I should probably build four T-boats, actually, for Morocco. And the reason for building four of those tugboats, or these T-boats over here, I basically get the advantage of being able to send, well basically if these guys attack they have to go through those T-boats first before they get to their ships. They're basically cannon fodder. They're used like that in World War II and they're used like that now. Um, over here in the uh, Mediterranean I'm thinking we'll, we'll try building a couple transports and we'll try building a couple infantry and the purpose for them is just to try and land on just these islands just to try and get some initial income from the uh, um, Italians if I can. And then over here we'll build whatever I can with the rest of my money, so um, an artillery piece would be fairly good, I think. I should probably really build infantry for them, but whatever, it's still good enough, so that's what we're going to build. We take that from the Italians, which is very good. That'll be uh, useful. And my non-combat move is pretty much uh, nil, nada, none. Alright, so placing stuff, I'm actually going to place these transports over here. And these guys in these transports. The purpose more or less of them is just to um, hopefully, if possible, not get bombed by that bomber and uh, jump over here and take these islands that they can, just from the Italians. These guys can afford to keep the Americans from losing all their ships to the massive forces over there. And it's this extra e um, offense for over here when we get to it. Alright, so that's done. The Finns don't have a turn, but the Britons do. Hopefully Britain will be able to... Uh, well, at least distract. Well, he's gonna basically hold that, I guess, for me. Or, you know, take the territory. At least it's better than going after Normandy. I'm actually a little, a little bit um, disappointed, or disappointed with myself. I probably should have taken that uh, African country for the Americans. If I took it, I could build fighters and then send them over to uh, help defend the Spain portion of the countries I took. And now I can't really do it. But 
the, the colonial French needed for their attacks, the attacks will probably come from Romania if they come after Turkey. So it's fine. And Romania actually managed to take a territory for themselves up there. All right, comet move. So I managed to take uh, Estimata over there. I think that was a fairly good um, requirement on my on my part. We should probably take out Spain. This guy should move into Sardinia just to take that. Um, actually, I should, I should move them all in there. We should just move one. If he survives, then he can go try and take there next turn. If he doesn't, then oh well. It's just a little bit of a loss for the Americans. I want to move, I guess, three guys in there for the purpose of taking that out. But I might just be better off not taking that out and just saving my troops. So we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. And think about what we're going to do with these guys. Um, that's, a, that's just dead weight, or not really, that's just a stopgap until they basically attack them there. Um, more or less, I guess, what I want to do, I just want to drop this guy here. And just, just wait for the enc encroaching tide of forces that will be coming after me over here in Madrid. We'll drop those guys there. And these guys here, mm, maybe not. If I drop them here, then these guys will be able to really attack. So we'll leave them those guys there. Um, you can keep moving wherever you can. You can move the other way. Whatever these transfers can move, we'll uh, jump over to um, the coast. These fighters. So yeah, I can't really move them anywhere specifically. Could I get them down there? One, two, three, four. You know what? I really should have built them in Southern USA, those fighters. Instead of trying to send them over in this direction. But whatever, we'll send them that way just because that's where I built them. That's where they're going to go. Um, 14 uh, transports are ready to go send stuff over. And uh, I probably should build more transports. But whatever. We'll send these two and these two immediately into... Actually, I shouldn't do that. We'll just uh, send these guys in that I can. Send always the heavy, the bigger units in first, so to take up the space. Then send the other units after that. And they'll take up the rest of the space. So that's, um, I basically have uh, that much uh, transport, you know, transporting needs over here to send around. All right, so we have to start thinking about my purchasing. So I really probably should actually build, I think, two more industries. And the purpose for that is to take out, you know, just over here, building our, our more stuff. Um, in Madrid, I'm going to build up five infantry. Purpose of them is just to sort of, uh, uh, what can I say about them? They're just like cannon fire, more or less, just to sort of, you know, absorb impact of all these troops that are going to be coming their way. I should probably also build up some transports to carry on over some more guys, so... We'll do that. Seven more of those guys. That will be my purchasing. I didn't really make any non-combat move, or I didn't make a combat move, and I didn't make a, I'm not going to make a non-combat move either. So, done. We're just going to place these guys around. Apparently, I lost my uh, my purchase. I didn't realize I'd lose my uh, 
ministry from the last turn. That's too bad. Well, whatever. It just means that I'll only be able to build an extra 5 instead of an extra F7 over there. Uh, we'll build all some of these guys over here. And then all these guys in here. So done. So we got a little bit of extra purchasing power as a result of all that. And I'm going to be able to start building a lot more stuff in Spain as well. He's going to hit everything he can as Nava with that tank. I didn't realize that uh, the Germans had that much power around. I, that's a big mistake on my part. Oh well. Um, it looks like they're taking a little bit, so we're going to pause. And it's fairly quick. Looks like I lost all my guys from the initial assault here. We killed two tanks in return, that's kind of sucky. Luckily he attacked with just tanks. The Germans there. Their air forces are just destroying us. the uh, Germans there. That's a bit of a concern. But at least now we've decided, we sort of divide the Germans' attention. They're not no longer just going straight at the uh, Russians. They're also coming at us, I hope. A little bit. That's a lot of forces that they're sending at us. Kind of concerning. Hopefully the uh, Britons might reinforce uh, Bilobo down there or other stuff. Looks like the Russians are going to fight back a little bit. They're going to take Riga. They're going to try to take Brest, Minsk. That'll shatter a lot of the uh, Axis forces. And then they're going to purchase their units. And the battle begins. All right, awesome. So the Russians actually just crushed a whole lot of the Axis forces over there on their front. They might be able to start taking back some of the territories that uh, the um, Germans and the other Axis powers took from them. More or less all the unit movement for uh, Russia is in the same pattern. Go toward the front. Oh, he's going to hit Greece. He's going to hit Bilbo. Nice little quick purchasing unit power there. Alright, well it looks like Greece is about to fall completely. The Italian finally got over there. I want to note something by the way, that transport of the uh, American uh, infantry there, he's still alive. So I'll be able to take a little bit with him. Specifically that neutral island right there in the Mediterranean. Alright, well, you're going to go right there, and we know where he's going to drop off next turn. Down here, one of these guys is going to go right here, and he's going to drop a guy in Sicily. You're going to go this way and go here. I don't know if he can cross over or not, but the fact is that he was taking that territory initially. Um, you guys are gonna go this way. He's got five tanks there, basically. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to, you know, beat him with just these free transports here. So, you know what we're just gonna do this time around? We're just gonna drop whatever forces we can over here in Mesa Villa or the other places basically so we're gonna go fully defensive so just three of those guys are gonna jump in there we'll drop off three of these guys and they'll all drop off in Sevilla and the purpose of that is just you know to help guard Sevilla a little bit more all right over here so slowly I'm moving this guy around these guys up you guys can go right there
I'm a bit concerned about instable falling some time, but even though there's a lot of forces over here, I still have some time to build up stuff over here, so that's fine. Um, I won't worry about that front for now, we're just going to worry about over here for now. So we're just going to say, done. I'm going to build infantry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least, in both these territories. And I guess I can build transports if I want to, so why not? We'll do that now. We'll, uh, one, two, three, four. Do I want to build four? Perhaps not. Let's actually build, um, a fighter, too. Purpose for building the fighter, along with the transports. The fighter can, you know, fly over there. I don't have to worry about transporting them. So, we're going to say, uh, done. There is no combat move. I'm not going to care about that. So, done. And we're just going to go... Infantry. Infantry. Fighter. Oops, wait. Transports. Fighter. That's fine for the Colonial French's turn. Even if it's just a little bit of defensive help, it's enough to sort of, you know, take off some of these guys. It's too bad the uh, Britons didn't come down to try and hit them down there, but there's a lot of troops for him to possibly hit, so that's possibly why they didn't do that. He's going to try and guard Seville as much as possible, that's fine. I might lose Madrid on this turn, actually, which is a bit of a annoyance. Rorian is going to hit my transport down there. Well, that's one of the problems with, you know, being so close to the access to territories. It's fine if I lose it, though. I mean, I just want to drop those guys off in case the uh, towns can't get across, right? So... Alright. I uh, forgot to fill them all up. First things first, fill them all up. So eight, and seven. That's a damn lot of uh, troops I'm going to be saying to uh, hopefully reinforce myself. So these guys are going... Um, this way first. You go that way. You guys keep going this way. Um, to be honest, that's a, a hell of a lot of uh, guys to worry about. Twelve elites, three infantry, two um, armors, and one big armor. If I was to go to the battle calculator, he's got 40 power and 59 total unit value there. Me, me on the other hand, I've got... Um, 71 total unit value, but I've only got power of 32. Though I do have the fires I can add. I should probably flip that around too. Uh, swap sides. So, it doesn't really take into account the power very well, I don't think, but whatever. It doesn't well enough. I don't think I have enough, you know, forces to really take out the Italians here. That's a bit of a concern to me. What I might just do... Drop these guys here, you're gonna go there, obviously. Um, I'm gonna leave all this stuff here. And hopefully they'll be able to hold out. If I buy five more fighters for that area. And that's the plan. I realize that this is kind of open to attack from these guys up here, but there's only two of those guys and two of those guys now, and I'm not sure these guys are going to be joining them. Alright, so... Action. I should probably note, I can actually bomb this, so I might as well do that. Bomb Barcelona. So we can't build any more stuff there as much. Um... I should also potentially consider these bunkers. Let's build uh, five bunkers, actually, if possible, in um, 
No, I, I shouldn't build that many bunkers. We only build one. I'll build, um... I still build two. I'll build three fighters. I should build some guys in Sevilla and Portugal too, so we'll build... One, two... And... One... One, two. So we're going to build lots and lots and lots of, uh those guys to sort of help out defensively for the mo most part, initially. We're going to do our bombing run. I didn't realize he had an AA in there, sadly. And he shot down my bomber, of all things. With a one shot, you know, from that AA. Oh, well. Um, what to do? I'm actually not really worried about the... Uh, the Germans attack me here at the moment. I'm actually going to move this uh, AA gun down here, I think. That'll be, uh, we'll do with that guy. This guy can just jump in there. He's now cannon fire for that fleet. And you guys can just jump in there for when you're ready to be carried over. Okay, so how this works. You can, I guess you can't place too many bunkers in one one of these places. So we're building those there, I guess. We're going to build four of these guys here. Um, one of these guys here and these guys here. And those guys there. So hopefully I can sort of hold off on uh, my uh, sort of land gains over here in the uh, Mediterranean in Spain there, over there. The Germans look like they're finally taking out the transports that the colonial French have all over, over the place, so that's fine, I guess. So there goes the transports that I initially built with the colonial French. It's fine if I lose those transports, by the way. He also took out Central Spain, so that's done. I'm going to say it's fine if um, the Germans take out those transports, because if the Italians can't take, come back to uh, um, those islands from, you know, the land, I get to hold those extra points for, the, you know, the colonial French for, for their use. I actually made a big mistake, by the way. I forgot to move a troop up to, to uh, see Ortigal over there. Something the Italians could do is that they could attack me in Portugal uh, if they, with those like tanks they have if they decide not to attack me in Madrid. And they could very well do that. And we're going to get to the Russian move now. He's going to take back Ukraskavia. A bunch of those other places up there. Bang, bang, bang. So more or less, the uh, the Germans and the Axis powers have been pushed back to, uh, I guess what you can call the um, borders of Russia, more or less. Sort of. I think Kiev is part of uh, Ukraine, so that would technically be part of Russia. Anyhow, the Russians are fighting back. They're pushing back on the Germans. Look at their stats. The, uh, they have a little bit more production now, which is good. So, here's the big thing. is uh, They're going to attack me in Portugal with uh, their tanks, because they could. It looks like they decided not to, which is, which is good. So, we have to worry about that. But yeah, they could have easily attacked me in Portugal with those tanks, if they uh, want to. And move those infantry back, that's nice. I get to abstain from being killed. Franks don't get to do much.
All right, so the Italians over here have dominated Greece, some Greece, Bulgaria. Um, that's more than enough forces to crush me over here and break through if they so desired. So that's a real concern. But we're not, you know, too bad off. So he can't cross over the water. That's good to know. So Sicily is separate from the rest of them over there. This guy, he's going to go in here. Um, I realize it's basically a suicide to set him up here, which is, it's fine. He's just going up there to, uh, move that artillery as fast as possible before I possibly get attacked. Um, the sub can just move down here. And you can start moving up, I guess, next turn when I can start moving you. Something I might want to do is build up... Well, I suppose he's got AA guns all over the place with these, uh... They, they're pretty good about getting AA guns all over the place for these, um... These factories. Almost every single place has an AA gun at it, I think, if not all of them. An insane amount of, like, give everyone an AA gun! The only places that don't have AA guns are, like, the ones I just built, pretty much, I think. Alright, well, um... If I want to, I could probably take this. So why not? We'll do that. Um, I could actually... I guess I can't send him. But I could attack up here with these guys. Take that out. Do I want to do that, though? I probably don't want to risk him, and plus I want to save that for the Americans. The more places for the Americans, the better. You're just going to go there. And I'm going to transfer basically everyone I can over. So, you're going to go in. You're going to go in. The artillery's going to go in. This artillery's going to go in. And you're going to go in. I can't send any more in there. We're going to drop the Elite. In. I guess I really, I really should just drop all these guys in there. They don't seem to be sending their fighters down here anymore, so anyone who can get in, just get in. So they're all in. And basically I can have all these guys either drop in there or drop in there. And for some reason saying, C unit, can't go in. That's been annoying. What C units are we referring to here? Oh, okay, that's why. It won't let me unload the Allied cruisers, and it's calculating some of those um, troops in the Allied cruisers is uh, mine. So let's drop these guys off. It's not letting me unload any of the infantry. That's a bit of a bug. Oh well, that's just, you know, fine. We'll drop this fighter up here. His goal is more or less to help defend up there. Um, there's a lot of forces, but I'm actually not so concerned anymore because I have enough of these guys coming down to hopefully deter um, the Germans and like uh, Italians making stupid moves of attacking me. So we're going to focus on here again. Um, the Colonial French, they have 7 infantry right there and 3 there. That's fairly good. I should probably uh, build up a bunch of um, fighters, perhaps. And we'll build up a bunch of uh, infantry. Hmm. I was trying to figure out how I can maximize the best use of this. Like that, I guess. So, we're going to say, done. We're going to start moving this AA up. So you're going to go there. These guys can't really do much, but they can station to each other. So, you know, they if they get attacked, they can both be attacked together. 
hopefully they might hold off an attack. Um, that's pretty much my turn in a nutshell. I can't move these guys, so we can't do anything else. So we're just going to say, done. And we're just going to place what we can over here to help defend. Um, one, two, and this guy right there. Three of these guys here at least. Get you there. So that's a fairly good turn for the Colonial French, I think. The British, what are you they going to do? They're going to help Merle, they're going to take that out. And then they're going to make me wait on the person units. And they're going to take out that. Oh well, I guess the uh, Britons are going to have that piece of land. And he's slowly going to send his forces through Russia to the front. And yeah, I knew it was going to happen, right? So you're going to hit that transport. Hey, I took out one of his fighters. Destroy one of the fighters. Alright, American's turn. So... I didn't get attacked, and I've got a whole lot of those um, characters in you know, the Britain area. Um, I'm actually tempted to uh, just drop these guys here instead of dropping them in to help the Britons. I actually want them to lose that piece of land so I can take it myself. Um, just because they're an AI and they're stupid, right? Um, they have this land down here, they have this land right there. I I got this like a bit of worry of this guy's over here. But you know what I'm thinking? I bet we could probably take this out. Um if we went after it. So let's see here. What's the plan gonna be after removing these guys? Before I forget them. I don't really have to uh, ferry any guys over from the Atlantic side over there. I can if I want to, just so I don't have to build um, more stuff over here. So I might do that. But uh, the main thing to worry about is... Um, what am I going to do with the Italians and all these other guys around here? I've got at least a lot of Germans over here, sort of coming in. A bunch of them up there, too. I don't think there's enough guys to take out all this and survive. I could definitely take out this, I guess, and then, uh, you know, just leave, just have those tanks out of the way. So that's what we might just do. We'll take out four of these guys and just make sure I crush those tanks before they have a chance to do anything. Uh, the guys in here, they can move up. That bunker feels like it's wasted, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Let's just uh, say that's done. I'm going to build a bunker. I want to see if I can build that in Madrid. Hopefully. And I want to build four more fighters, I think, for Madrid. That's just to help guard it a little bit more. And then in Sevilla and Portugal, how many... Um, that's two, and that's three. So, I guess we want to build like maybe five infantry from those places, I guess, or we could build continue building fighters, which might be worth it. <clears throat> One, two. One, two. Could build like that, build all that stuff. So battle in central central Spain. This is just to kill those tanks, so I don't have to worry about them. A 
Apparently I only have five hits with that many fighters, so that's kind of sad. And they killed only two inf infantry, that's fine. I, I want to take the place, and I don't really care if uh, a couple more left in there. You guys just drop right there. And... Alright, we'll drop one of those guys down there in uh, S Nevada, just for a simple reason that if I block it in there, they can't charge out of there with our stuff. I only need that in there, there's no you know, real way that they can hit down that direction. So never mind. Alright, so we're just going to say done. And look at that, I can't build a bunker, so there's a second bunker. You can only build one bunker per turn, is the thing to note then from that. Um, we're going to build two infantry, and this guy, and these guys, all that stuff. So apparently you can build a bunker and five you know, it's a Madrid. That's good to know. I'm going to build two of these guys here, and these guys here. So that's all going to be built to help defend. So that's another turn, or round rather, out of the way. Well, um, the Briton lost their uh, transports up there again. And he's dropping a whole lot of troops down in that direction. That's uh, no good. But anyhow, they f it's the thing to note here is that the Germans have had their, their focus split. Their focus to uh, have to come after me as well as the uh, Russians on the uh, two separate fronts. In many ways, this is like, you know, we're in, we've got a big advantage in this in production. If you look at it down here, we now have like, um, I guess 1.5%, 150% uh, production compared to the Axis. That's the takeaway. So we're doing pretty damn good on uh, sort of outproducing the, uh, the Axis. And eventually we'll have way more units than they can really muster. And we'll just basically tank them. As long as we hold our, our territories. If they broke through here, then that'd be a bit of an issue, but um, I don't think they'll be able to do that. And Russian's taking forever, so we'll just uh, go back. And we come back. So, Russia's pu pushing toward the uh, Germans' center of power now. They're crushing the uh, the Romanians, the Italians, and the uh, Germans as they push toward their core of power. Oh, oh, I didn't move a, a troop in there. Oh, that's right, I took it out. So, the Italians are going to hit me in uh, a few places there. I'm totally fine with the uh, Italians are pushing all, out, out all over the place there. I now have a ton of artillery and uh, our infantry to push in toward them as well, so. Oh, Colonial French first. All right, well, um, these guys can jump in. And I'm basically saying six infantry on one little guy. I'm not going to make the make, same mistake again of uh, putting infantry in um, to transports. The American one, not enough transports. They're already in those transports, that's right. Um, well, that, that kind of sucks. Apparently I'm going to have to wait to drop the rest of these guys off. 
Oh well, that's a, a bit of a downer. But whatever, um, move these guys up here. I've got 12 infantry, 2 marines, pretty damn solid defense over here. Hopefully we'll keep it that way. Um, 1, 2, 3. Build those guys there. Maybe we'll build 4 more of these guys. 1, 2, 3, 4. And their purpose will be more or less to help um, defend Ankar against possible attacks. Over here, I'm actually tempted to start building up a few um, additional stuff over here. I basically have enough for So let's see if I build all that. Two artilleries and uh, one of the, or yeah, two of uh, as free as five. So five of uh, these guys, five of those um, infantry, that's like at least uh, five transports. I'll have at least um, three infantry here. So I should build one more infantry. And then I should build another transport and our couple eyes. That should be enough by my calculations to transport another load next turn of a whole lot of troops on over there all at once. And I'll help out. So those guys take out South Nevada, and that uh, will make it easier to uh, deal with them over there. That A guns will move up a little bit more. Um. And these go those guys will basically sit there for for the moment. Probably should have used that fire, but whatever. You can just sit there for now. And um, these guys, of which I've got many, can push up here. To basically help defend the uh, Spaniards and Madrid to uh, these encroaching guys up there. So, that's done. I basically want to build... What was it I want to build? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Build this guy here. I can't build it all here, can I? I cannot build it all here. That's a big mistake. Oh well. Build what I can. So, yeah, that guy and those guys. That's enough for six transports there, at least. That's enough for another two transports when I start, I guess, you know, doing stuff from over there. Or you'll build them all in Iraq, perhaps. Or Iran, rather. Send them over in this direction. Actually, do. We'll send uh, these guys first, these guys after. So that's the Colonial French. I forgot those fighters in Iceland. Oh boy, they've been there for a while, haven't they? The fighters in Iceland, they should come down to help the party. Doesn't look like the uh, Britons are doing a combat move this time around. That's fine, I guess. Building up more naval forces, though. They got a lot of battleships built. The Romanians are just going to do what they can to sort of help out. All right, well, these guys that are here, drop what I can right there. And these guys that I can are gonna move in the other direction. I 
I should probably build a few more troops over there, I guess. But anyhow, over here is the real treat. There's still a lot of infantry over here. Um, but I don't mind like taking out you know, up here a little bit of stuff, so we'll drop an infantry there. All these guys, these fighters that I've built, will have lots of fun just, you know, mopping up all the troops that they can get to. You guys will wipe out those guys. And he's got five troops there. I I think we can spare three of these guys to attack there and absorb hits for the fighters as they destroy all the troops in there. And then next turn I might be able to attack, you know, up here there there if I want, pretty much. So that'll be the plan. I don't see any fighters around here. Like, there are fighters right there and up there, but... Hmm. I think what we're going to do... We're going to leave these guys alone for a bit. They're going to come up here. Our purpose for doing that is that um, they'll be able to bombard those guys when they do their famous assault, which they just did. Um... I, I could drop these guys down here, I guess, but there's really no point in dropping them all there just yet. We'll send those fighters down there and they can join down there in a bit. And was, you can just stay there to absorb any hits that I just missed from fighters around here. Alright, so... Let's get to this and see how this works. So, done. Building, building, building. What to build? I want to build... I do want to build another bunker to be safe. Um, outside of that bunker, I also want to build some big armors in Madrid. Some big armors in the other one. And some big armors in Portugal. And then I'll build uh, one, two, three, four troops for eventual transport over the Atlantic. Yes. So we're going to get a big bombardment from free cruisers, and I think that destroyer might build a bombard too. So, naval bombardment, roll that free. I killed one of them. And those guys got uh, those kills. So we take that all out. They kill, kill one of my infantry, and we take that as well. So we got these uh, fighters. I got no lack of fighters to attack the um, Italians and the other stuff over here. And done. So Major's going to build a bunker. I'm also going to build... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Or, you know, two. One, two, three. And then these guys will be built in Southern USA. And that, I think, is a fairly awesome uh, turn for the Americans. And it looks like the... Uh, oh, damn, that's a lot of fighters out there. That the Germans have attacking the British. No longer the British are building so many battleships. All right, it's taking a while to purchase units, so we'll just pause it a little bit more. Another round. So, the Germans went and took both those uh, places that were near to their troops. And they moved more infantry over there to, uh, in, you know, Madrid. And moved some elites as well. 
It's not to say that there's not a lot of troops that the Germans could send, but that means less for coming against Russia over there. You know, I know it's a lot of Italians going up this way. That's pretty good. Ah, it's taking a long time yet again. Alright, that took a while. So the Russian has attacked the uh, Germans a little bit. And then they move some more forces up. Very slow, slow process. I'm sure you probably can, you know, you don't need to see it to know what they're doing, but I'm showing anyways. Alright, so. Looks like the Italians are going to start coming up at the Russians with their troops there. That's good because it means I can possibly move, move in, potentially, to take Instable. They still have a lot of guys in Greece, so. Boom. 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 Place. 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 Lots and lots of stuff on a big map like this. Ah, so I'm actually actually thinking about attacking um, Instable with these guys a little bit. I don't think I'll do it just yet, but it's something I might want to consider doing soon. Alright, well, um, if I look at this territory, he's got three infantry and two tanks right there. And um, Barcelona has... Uh, a whole lot of fighters. That's where all the fighters went, by the way. They're all um, in Barcelona. Luckily, it doesn't really matter if they're all over there. Um, these guys are just going to drop them off what they can. I was thinking a little bit, but whatever. Um, we're going to send all these guys into the transports. And they're going to drop what they can right there. These guys are going to fly, or those guys, hopefully, they're going to come down here in a bit to help guard. Um, I'm actually going to try and hold on to this area down here, I think. I'm actually tempted to take this territory, though, so maybe we'll try that. We'll, um... Send a fighter, at least there. Well, I guess I moved uh, that guy in there. I didn't mean to do that. He can go back. Okay, what am I going to send? Um, he's got three infantry and two tanks. So I guess we'll send an elite. We'll send... Two artillery, two infantry, the fighter. I'll send all three infantry. Hopefully, if I send all that, um, probably should send more. We'll send our early tank. Hopefully, if I send all that, that should be enough to deck all that. And then we can send these guys um, sort of down here to help defend there. And they got all their movement points spent, so that's done. I don't got transport over here anymore, but that's fine. Move those guys that way. 
And let's see how this works. All right, I'm not gonna really do a whole lot of building down there, outside of perhaps fighters. I might build more fighters, but the real the real stuff I want to build is over here. Um, I've got five artillery right now, an armor, two big armors, these guys right there. I think we'll build uh, a bunch of big armors over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven right there. And that will be what I'm building. There's no real reason to have stuff down here anymore, so... Done. Battle in central Spain. Okay, I killed three of his infantry. He's gonna knock off two of mine. We kill the rest of his guys. He kills the last of my infantry. So that's out of the way. This guy can go down here. And... Pretty much that's out of the way then. We've got that's captured. They don't have to, uh, the Americans don't have to capture it themselves. I can send them over in these directions if I want to. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of troops up here. They're mostly just in these three places now. That's actually a good thing for me. Because it means that I can possibly send my American troops to like finish off the guys here and maybe there or there, wherever. And I forgot to move this guy again, but whatever. Finns don't have a move because they're dead. The British will take a move. He's going to take Normandy, apparently. And his non combat move will be to drop more guys in Normandy. Most of the uh, British naval fleet has been destroyed by German fighters. He keeps building battleships for some reason. I'm mean, just going to move a few guys up there. So, all these guys are moving up in this direction. They're going up that direction. So I'm thinking about dropping these guys down here. The, the reasoning for doing this is that you know, even if like the, Ger the Germans come over and attack these guys, they'll lose some fighters doing so. And it's not necessarily a bad thing if that happens. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to send these three, or five guys up there. I could make all the fighters attack up there as well. And then all I have to worry about is just making sure I have like the troops to sort of um, prevent him from, you know, doing much else. That should be enough to take that out, all those guys, without, you know, any serious losses. And then I just worry about defending over here from all those troops right there. That's what I'm thinking. So, done. Let's go with, um, what am I going to do this time? I actually want to build infantry, so... 10 infantry are going to be built in Spain. That will give me lots of room to build infantry over here. Um, I've got those guys right there so far. I'm going to have 22 transports to send guys over. Um, that'll be for, you know, the more or less all the transports I'm saying over. Um... So four. Four plus four is eight divided by two is four transports. Um, I need to build for 18 transports, so that's 36 infantry I want to build. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'll be able to build a lot of infantry. We'll be able to place them all though. 14, 30, 33. I can't place that many infantry, so it's definitely not worth building that much infantry. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then I can just build a 
those and maybe the uh, mech infantry will join them. 42 units will be, 37 units will be produced. I can uh, build all that. So that'll be good. Alright, let's get this bell and uh, hero on the way. I didn't kill them all in the initial uh, thrust. That's uh, too bad, but whatever. I killed a lot of them. He's going to get hit 8 hits on me. I'm kind of worried he might get some fighters or stuff here, but whatever. Let's just remain. We kill the rest of them. He gets 4 hits. That's no hits on my... Uh, Good stuff is just the weak stuff, so they're out of the way. The big armors are all that's left up there. Non common move will be to send 17 of these guys down. Um, I'm probably that's yeah, you know, it's kind of bad to have those guys all get lost, but whatever. They did they, their uh, they're they were attacking, not really defending, so done. I'm going to place infantry all over the place. Here. And then over here, we're going to place what we can. So you're going to be built there. Um, it doesn't really matter where I place most of these guys. Oh, good. I was able to place them all there. So we didn't have to place anything in Eastern USA. Is it done? He's going to kill the uh, English battleships with those fighters he's got up there. He's going to hit my big armors down there. He's going to hit the uh, guys there with what, you know, li li little troops he still has left. The Germans. Kill a couple of those guys. Lost all five of those guys, but got free hits. So I lost my big armor, so that's kind of a, a bit of a loss, but whatever. We killed off the um, a lot of the German troops when I did salted them in Sea or Ortigal up there. Most of the sea towns now on the uh, the front down here. What are you going to do, Soviet Union? Oh, he's going to attack only two territories, apparently. Alright. So, the Russians attack a couple territories there. And he's going to send more forces toward the line. I'm a little bit worried about the Russians. They're being a little bit spread thin from the attacks from, you know, the Italians and the Romanians combined with the G Germans. Luckily, I'm getting stronger in Spain, so I'll be able to help out by, you know, taking out a lot of the uh, territories of France. Maybe even liberate France. So Russia builds a bunch of units. Italy apparently conquered Kerm again. And Italy's going to start pushing off of its units. It's got quite a few of them. But yeah, Italy moved a lot of his troops up there, so I don't know really if to worry about them down there if uh, there's something to worry about. Now, a thought this occurred to, uh, occurred to me. What if I can't cross here? I just want to make sure I can. Okay, good. I can cross over to Istanbul whenever I want to over here. Um, Alright, so we have a lot of troops over there. And a few troops over here. I'm actually wondering about hitting Italy up over here. That's something the colonial French can possibly do. But... Anyhow, it's um, not something I'm going to really be investing in or looking for. We're going to uh, do what we can over here. With all these guys, I'm thinking 
we're going to move up here to hit uh, right there. And we'll take all that out. Maybe not all of them. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go womp, 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 like that. So I can take that territory. Then they can all go in there. Um, let's see what damage we can do with them there. So done. I've got 50 points to spend around. I might um, want to start hitting Instable soon. So how am I going to do it? Here's the question. I think what we're going to do is we're going to build... In Syria I want to build um, two mech infantry. They can move free spaces so they'll be able to hit over there. Um, in Izmir... I want to build three more big armors because they can go one, two, and still hit insta um, instable. And then I can build four guys here in uh, Antikara. One, two, three, and infantry. So I'm going to build a whole lot of guys to um, hit instable. If, if I'm lucky, I might be able to hit Greece as well. Then I really don't have to worry too much about the stuff over there. Maybe I can cross um, stuff out, out over there as well. So we'll get all that. I'm going to kill the stuff here that I can. And we'll send these guys forward. And these guys forward. And everyone but you forward. To Ankara. So these guys won't be able to participate in a battle if I was attacked next turn, but we're getting there. And they can just reinforce. That's fine. Over here. It looks like the uh, Germans moved out most of their fighters up in this direction. I'm tempted to start moving these... Uh, Colonial ships and our stuff over in this direction, so they may be able to be of use over here. I'm not going to be really building stuff over here with them anymore. They can just come over here, so we're going to maybe start doing that. We'll uh, move over one, I guess. It's because, you know, these guys are slow. So we'll do that. And this fighter, he can probably... I don't know, we'll just go here. In case I, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to hit here right now. We're just going to probably hit all of right here and then move guys up here. So, done. Place what we can here. Place what we can here. And place this guy here. Oh, looks like the Britons uh, built some guys over there. With the Greece. He's going to take Kerm. I don't know if he'll take Kerm. I don't think he will. The CPU doesn't really understand the... The, uh, the CPU doesn't seem to value, understand the value of the MOT infantry. And how do you really use it. Sending that one guy to that guy right there, which is really stupid, but whatever. Well, we knew he was going to lose there, I think, or he had a good chance of it. Well, they left my fire alone there. He built some stuff in Canada, apparently. And he's going to lose those transports. Oh, well.
So at this point, lots and lots of troops over here ready to be uh, moved out. And uh, over here as well. You guys are going to go there. And why not? We'll send you guys over here. All right, so what am I going to do here? Um, I should really send some more forces over here to sort of prevent stuff from over there from happening, you know, well, taking shots at me and such. We're going to send those guys up there. How much uh, do I possibly need for here? He's got 10 infantry, 7 elites, and an artillery. Um, I guess we should probably send all our tanks that I can muster up to hit him up there. And then I should probably, um, you know what, I'm probably going to do something a little bit reckless, but we're just going to move one of, one of these guys here. Seven of those guys there. Ten of those guys there. We're going to move these guys out of Madrid right into Spain. That might be cost me a, a bunch of troops if they get attacked successfully, but I don't think um, the Italians will be able to uh, destroy all those guys. There's um, at least 12 infantry for the colonial French, nine of mine. Um, there's uh, one of those uh, English guys there too. So that's 22 infantry to his... Uh, 15. I've also got, I also have the ability to move my uh, aircraft there as well, which will further um, hamper his ability to be able to attack me there. So yeah, I'm pretty confident I can leave those guys there and then take all these infantry out and then move them down in this direction if they attack, which they probably will. So we'll do that. Um, I think what I want to do is focus on over here first. So I've got one of these guys, four of these guys, 22 of these guys, and four of those guys. So I've got um, those guys, one of those guys. I need to build one infantry. Um, I need to build one vehicle of some sort. That will make me have, um, one second, four, five, six, six uh, transport filled with that. That'll meet, leave like 16 left over here. I've got 20, so I've got 10, so that's like six to fill. I just need to build um, an infantry, seven infantry and uh, six vehicles over here to fill the transports. So that's what we'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll build, mm, I really probably don't need to, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just do that instead, just to, I'll send a lot of infantry over from this theater. And then over here I can start building some more stuff. Um, I should probably build something fast moving in this place. So we'll build one, two, three. In Madrid I could probably build an armored car, so one, two. That's four units right there. And then I could build a uh, big armor. I could build an another armored car in Sevilla. So that's all my points pretty much. And I still have less, you know, some to spend. Um, let's not do that instead. And we'll just go with that. Go like that instead. That'll uh, use up all my points and give me lots and lots of armor to use. So, done. They all died instantly. I took out six infantry with them. The non combat move will be to send 70, 17 of these guys all the way over to uh, Spain there. That will further hamper their ability to be able to hit me right there. And, um,. We'll start loading up those transports in a bit, too. Let's 
let's get this going. Um, we're going to build the fast moving those guys there. We'll uh, send the armored cars here. Five of these big armors there. We can build 13 of these guys here. Lots and lots of troops to send over. Am I going to send a car? I forget. It doesn't really matter. They'll be sent over next turn, so whatever. Um, so yeah, done. That's going to be the end of my American turn for round 14. I think this has gone on long enough, so we'll actually pause the recording here. And pretty much the next time I'll be actually pushing into Europe.